Welcome to Christmas Island, a sunny tropical island in the Indian Ocean that is also a giant melting pot for biodiversity. The island is rather isolated, so there are many unique organisms that can only be found on Christmas Island and nowhere else on Earth. These are known as endemic species and Christmas Island has roughly 200 of such species. This is the Flying Fish Cove, the largest beach and main settlement of Christmas Island. It is also simply known as the settlement. Christmas Island is unique as its national park occupies most of the island. It takes up around two-thirds of the island's land area. The tropical rainforests of Christmas Island are homes to the most diverse land crab community on Earth. There are also a number of seabirds, small reptiles and insects that live here. Our researchers are all packed and ready to survey their first field location. They are going to the Dales. The Dales is one of the two wetlands on Christmas Island recognised as internationally important sites for biodiversity conservation. The permanent flowing water at the Dales form important habitats for a number of organisms. This is the Anderson Dale Trail and our researchers are walking along the boardwalk to reach the breathtaking Hughes Dale Waterfall. They have spotted the famous Christmas Island red crab that can only be found on the island. This species of crab is the most numerous of land crabs living on Christmas Island. It is estimated that there are more than 100 million Christmas Island red crabs present on the island. The migration of the red crab is also renowned to be a spectacular phenomenon. Every year, at the beginning of the wet season at around October, millions of red crabs stream out of their burrows and set off on a long journey towards the sea to dig burrows and mate. The females will then eventually release their eggs in the sea. During the migration season, the march of the red crabs may even stop road traffic or cause punctures in car tyres. After passing through this rainforest patch with enormous tangling tree roots, the team has arrived at the freshwater stream that has carved out a small gorge. A gorge is a narrow valley with a stream running between steep, rocky walls. The gorge is rough and slippery and sometimes big waves are experienced here. This time, our researchers have spotted the Christmas Island Blue Crab. This species of crab can only be found at the freshwater streams of Christmas Island and it's named after its unique sky blue carapace. The blue crabs, which are fewer in numbers as compared to the red crabs, migrate a month or so after the start of the red crab migration. Unlike the red crabs, the blue crabs mate in their own burrows instead of digging new burrows at the coast and the females will start their hours-long journey to the coast once the eggs are ready for release. Let's move on to our next destination. This time, the team is going to explore a cave. Christmas Island is honeycombed with caves and some, like this cave pictured here, are accessible by land while others are only accessible by the sea. This cave that they are currently exploring is known as the Weep Cave and it is an ankyline cave that can only be accessed by authorised personnel. Ankyline means near the sea in Greek. Such caves have no surface connection to the sea but are affected by changes in tide levels. The weep cave is assessed via a narrow cave mouth so our researchers have to be careful when making their way down. The team is setting up a collapsible bait trap that is commonly used by fishermen to catch live bait like shrimps, fishes and other small animals. They have now released it into the water. When it comes to the ankyline ecosystem, only few ecological studies have been conducted in the past. 
Recent explorations of Enkeline Caves worldwide have therefore led to a number of new species discoveries. The cave trip has gotten our researchers partially submerged in the waters, but they are going to dive straight into the waters at their next location, the Thundercliff Cave. They have now put on their dive gear and are ready to jump in 3, 2, 1. Christmas Island is surrounded by a narrow but picturesque tropical reef which supports bountiful marine life including more than 500 species of fishes as well as many varieties of beautiful coral. Our researchers are running out of air and are preparing to head up to the surface. The team is calling it a day and are now headed back to their accommodations. Along the way, many seabirds are spotted, one of which is this pretty medium-sized bird over here with a red beak and white plumage. This is known as the red-tailed tropic bird, named after its fancy red tail streamers. It is said that the birds with longer tail streamers are more attractive as mates. To end off our Christmas Island virtual journey, here's an evening shot taken at the Flying Fish Cove. Thank you for joining us on this virtual journey to Christmas Island.